Hello mga tao! Welcome to my YouTube channel. This time, we will discuss about Pythagorean theorem. Thank you very much and enjoy. Pythagorean theorem is a fundamental relation in Euclidean geometry among the three sides of right triangle. It states that the area of the square whose side is hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares of the other two sides. This theorem can be written as an equation relating the length of the sides A, B, and C. It is A raised to 2 plus B raised to 2 is equal to C raised to 2, which C represents the length of the hypotenuse and A and B are the length of the triangle's two sides or the other two sides. Okay. First, we go to the sizes of angle. Before we start discussing the whole concept of Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So the size of angles, one, we have acute. Or acute is the all angles less than 90 degrees. Or the angle is less than 90 degrees. The obtuse angle is an angle over 90 degrees. And lastly, right angle is an angle having a measurement of 90 degrees. Next, we go to the length of sides. Okay? So the equilateral, all sides are equal. Isosceles, we have two sides are equal. And iskaline, no sides are equal. So, in, a, in this triangle here, we have triangle A, B, C. Okay? As you can see here, class, this is an angle that is having a perpendicular line. What is a perpendicular line? A perpendicular lines are lines having... A straight lines which is vertical and horizontal intersected. So meaning the angle has been made is 90 degrees. So if you can see this symbol, square, small symbol, small square, it is, it is a symbol for 90 degrees. So the measurement of this angle is 90 degrees, meaning this triangle is a right triangle. So, class Pythagorean theorem is only applicable to a right triangle. You cannot use Pythagorean theorem to what? Isosceles triangle or solving for any kind of triangle. It is only for right triangle. So, this right triangle A B, C has three sides. Opposite of B is the one side. We can say that it is B. Opposite of A, the other side, we can say it is side A. Side A, side B. Okay? If we are talking about side, you can put a small letter, not a capital letter. Okay? A, B. And then the opposite of B. Capital letter C here, angle C is side C. Okay? This side A is leg 1, side B is leg 2. For our side 3, which is C, it is our hypotenuse. Okay? Again, leg, leg, hypotenuse. A, leg 1, B, leg 2, C, hypotenuse. You can see, as you can see, leg 1 and leg 2 or side 1, side 2, they form this right angle. Okay? This symbol which is right angle. Meaning, so this triangle is a right triangle because of leg 1 and leg 2. A vertical line and a horizontal line intersected. 
And this sun, which is our hypotenuse, it is the longest side of these three sides. Okay? I repeat, C or the hy hypotenuse is the longest side of these three sides of a right triangle. Now we said that uh, the Pythagorean theorem is stated as the, as the sum of the squares of leg 1 and leg 2 is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, such as A raised to 2 plus B raised to 2 is equal to C raised to 2. Now, with the use of this Pythagorean theorem or Pythagoras formula, we can now solve the sides given two sides of this triangle, of this right triangle, given two sides, you solve for the unknown side or the third side, you can use this formula, which is Pythagoras formula, our Pythagorean theorem. Again, as a representation, the square of this side plus the square of this side is equal to the square of our longest side which is our hypotenuse. The square or A raised to 2 plus B raised to 2 is equal to C raised to 2. The square of A plus the square of B is equal to the square of C. Okay. Suppose we have side A, which is 3 cm, we have side B, which is 4 cm, and side C is unknown. Okay? C is unknown. Now, the problem is what would be the measurement of our C, of this hypotenuse, of our hypotenuse. Okay? So, how will we do that? We now use the Pythagorean theorem, which is A raised to 2 plus B raised to 2 is equal to C raised to 2. Okay? So how? You just substitute the given unit or given measurement of these two legs to the formula. Okay? So this is A, this is B. Meaning A is this one. B is 1 and C that 1. So now substitute. So we have A which is 3 centimeter raised to the power of 2 plus this 1 let B which is 4 centimeter raised to the power of 2 is equal to C raised to 2. Now simplify 3 raised to 2 answer 9 and centimeter raised to 2 answer centimeter raised to the power of 2 plus 4 raised to 2 answer 16 and centimeter raised to the power of 2 is equal to c raised to 2 combine like terms because they are like terms centimeter, centimeter raised to the power of 2 centimeter raised to the power of 2, you can combine them. Okay, so 9 plus 16, it is 25 centimeter, centimeter, just copy, is equal to C raised to 2. Now, how will we take off or how will we solve for C only? Because we are not looking or we are not solving for C raised to 2. We are solving for C only. Because the unit for our hypotenuse is 1C or C only, not C raised to the power of 2. Now, what will we do here? Okay, so we need to multiply or we need to get the square root of C raised to 2. Why? Because the meaning of C raised to 2 or the square root of C raised to 2 is equal to C raised to the power of 2 multiplied multiply to the exponent of 1 half. Meaning, you will multiply 1 half 
to the exponent of c which is 2. So simplify. It is equal to 2 raised 2 times 1 half or c and then 2 times 1 half it is 2 all over 2. Okay? And we know that 2 all over 2 is equal to 1. So c raised to 1. Meaning, if we get the square root of c raised to 2, the answer is c raised to 1. So that time, we can take off the square root already or cancel. And this is the process. Next, if we do something in the right side of the equation, we do it also in the left side. Okay? So how will you do? What will you do? You also get the square root of 25 centimeter raised to the power of 2. Okay. So what would be the answer or what would be the square root of 25 centimeter raised to the power of 2? We said, okay, we go first to the number. This is the square root of 25. It is 5. And a while ago, what we did to the square root, to the square root of c raised to 2, we do it also to the square root of centimeter raised to 2. Of, and then it will become centimeter raised to the power of 1. So that's it. Now we get already the value of our c which is not raised to the power of 2. It is raised to the power of 1. So the answer is 5 centimeter. So this 5 centimeter now is our c which is our hypotenuse. So 5 centimeter. Meaning in any right triangle, okay, if side A is 3 centimeter and side B is 4 centimeter, at the, the side C or the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, is 5 centimeter. So what if our hypotenuse or side C is given, which is 5 centimeter, and our left or side B is given, which is 4 centimeter? How will we solve for side A? Okay? So same, we use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So it is A raised to 2 plus B raised to 2 is equal to C raised to the power of 2. So how will you do it? Okay? So just substitute 5 centimeter, which is our hypotenuse, here. 4 centimeter, which is our B, here. And A is our unknown. A substitute, what is A raised to 2? It is unknown, so A raised to 2, just write, is it plus, okay, our B, which is 4 centimeter, raised to the power of 2, which is 4 centimeter raised to the power of 2, is equal to our C, which is C, which is 5 centimeter, raised to the power of 2. So it becomes 5 centimeter to the second power. Now, simplify. Okay? As you can see, a raised to 2, or we need only a raised to 2, and or a raised to 2, or our a. So you can see our a is in the left side. And we need to solve for the value of this a. So what we will do, we need to take off our 4 centimeter raised to the power of 2 in this left side so that only A will be the remaining term. But then how will we do that? We now apply the addition property of equality. So what you do to left side, you do it also to the other side. Okay? So I just write it so that we have a lot of space. Okay, so what will we do? I told you we use the additional addition property of equality. So what is that APE or addition property of equality? What you do to left side, you do it also to right side. And our aim here is to cancel 4 centimeter raised to the power of 2 or this term because we just need our first term which is our A. Okay, or the left one. So what will we do? 
A raised to the power of 2 plus 4 centimeter raised to the power of 2. What will I add to these two terms to take off this term or this second term? What will I add to 4 centimeter raised to the power of 2 for it to become or to be equal to 0? It is minus 4 centimeter raised to the power of 2. Because if I will subtract 4 centimeter raised to the power of 2 to this term, it will become 0. So what I did to this side, I will do it also to the other side. That is why 5 centimeter raised to the power of 2 minus, minus 4 centimeter raised to the power of 2. Okay? So 4 centimeter raised to the power of 2 minus 4 centimeter to the second power. Answer, 0. Cancel. So A raised to 2 is remain, or remaining in the, in the left side. is equal to 5 centimeter raised to the power of 2. You simplify. 5 to the second power. Answer, 25. And then centimeter to the raised to the second power. Centimeter is the second power. Minus. 4 raised to 2, answer 16. And then centimeter to the second power. Now, next thing to do is simplify. Combine similar terms or like terms. So 25 centimeter to the second power is similar to 16 centimeter to the second power. They are having like, they are like terms. And we said to combine like terms. Why is it that they are like terms? Because of the units. Their units and the exponent of that unit is the same or similar. Centimeter raised to the power of 2. Centimeter raised to the power of 2. Okay. Simplify further. 25 minus 16. Answer 9. And then centimeter, centimeter to the second power, to the second power, copy. Are we done yet? No. Why? Because we just need the value of A, not the value of A to the second power. So what will we do? We get or we get the, the square root of A raised to the power of 2. Why is it that I will use square root? Why is it that I will not use cube root, fourth root, or fifth root? Because of the exponent. Because the square root, square root is equal to the exponent of, or the exponent 1 over 2. And because of this denominator, it is the same with the exponent of A. That is why I need to get the square root, not cube root. Because cube root is 3, and it is not the same with this exponent. Okay? So I will get the square root of this side, and of course what I did to this side, I will do it also to the other side. I will get also the square root, okay? So 2, two times 1 half is 1, that is why a raised to 1, a, and then is equal to, okay, the square root of 9, answer, it is 3. And then the square root of centimeter is to the power of 2. Same what we did here. Answer, centimeter is to the power of 2. 2 times 1 half. Answer, 1. That's why centimeter is to 1. No need to write the exponent 1. Because it is understood that if there is no exponent listed there, it is 1. So our A now is 3 centimeter. So did we solve the problem? Yes. So our A here is 3 centimeter. 3 centimeter for leg 1, 4 centimeter for leg 2, and 5 centimeter for leg C or our hypotenuse or our longest side. Okay? I hope you understood and thank you very much for listening.